What's up, gems? It's your girl, Chucky, and I'm back with another owl. Duncan Ada Music. So I am back. I know it's been a minute. I am here with another Beauty Hacks 101 for you guys, okay? So we have already talked about cleaning up the brows. If you have not seen that video, I will have that linked like right here. You see that? Mm, go ahead and watch that. You do not want to watch this video if you have not seen that video. So let's go ahead and jump right into this video. Oh, 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 wait. I know you didn't think you were about to jump right into this video and not hit that like button, that comment button. Make sure you share with all of your friends because y'all be like, oh my god, I missed the brows. So make sure you share with your friends so they can see all of this because by the title you already know what's up and make sure that you hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell make sure that you get notified the next time I post a video so let's really jump into this video okay all right guys so first things first we are going to be talking about the brows now depending on how thick or thin your brows will determine how you need to fill them in some of you don't need to be watching this video you need to be watching the first video in the beauty hacks 101 series which is cleaning your brows i will not be showing you how to do that in this video because there's one dedicated to it go back 10 seconds you will find it um so, there are plenty of ways that you can do your brows. There are many tools that you can use to do your brows. That's up to you. I am going to be showing you three ways to do your brows. Alright guys, so we are going to be using the e.l.f. pencil. Which is the only pencil I have left. All my good pencils are gone. Okay, I do use the... Ulta Beauty Pencil. Can you see that? I don't know why I don't want to focus. But I definitely use the Ulta Beauty Pencil, but it broke. I broke it down to the to look to the little nub nub thing because I had to get every little bit out of it. But I keep this because this spoolie is a bomb. We'll get into that. Okay. We will also be using the Beauty Shop Cosmetics in the color ebony. Bam. Okay, and we will also be trying the CoverGirl Brow and Liner Powder in the color 805, which just looks like this. If it'll focus, it doesn't want to focus, so that's okay. This is what it looks like. Um, and then we are going to be using the LA Pro concealer or whatever concealer you have on hand if you're doing this with me. I like to use the Morphe M413, which this has like a why you don't want to focus. This has like a stiffer, like little bristle. Let me show you another one so I can show you the difference if I can. There we go. There we go. Okay. So I got my Beauty Shop Cosmetics brush here. Okay. Concealer brush. And then I also, baby, these lips, they need some shine. Alright guys, so we're going to go ahead and start with the uh, powder. Sorry if that's unfocused, but you need to be focused on me. So matter of fact, I can't bring y'all... Oh, there we go. We're going to bring y'all in a little bit. I'm just trying to make sure I'm careful, y'all. 
so I can see. Okay, I'm good. Okay, so we're going to start with the uh, powder, okay? So what you're going to do is take your spoolie, and you just go brush your hairs in the direction that they grow. We're going to take the brow product. Now this, I normally would line my uh, brow, but because this is a powder, I would use this more for like an everyday um, basic makeup look, like a uh, makeup no makeup look, because this is a little bit more lighter personally for me but this is my preference you can use this until you get um comfortable with doing your brows you do not have to go out and buy this if you have a palette that has some lights darks and uh, medium browns in it you can definitely use eyeshadow because it's pretty much almost what it is so Let's go ahead and get started. So what I am going to do, I'm not going to start in the beginning of my brow. I want the beginning of my brow to be faded, natural, flawless. So I'm not going to touch that yet. We're going to go ahead and go right here in the middle. And I'm just going to take that product. And I'm just going to apply it in little hair strokes. You see how it's just filling in those areas where I need it the most. I'm giving my brow a little bit of shape. And all I'm doing is just going into the hairs that are already there. You see, I still did not touch the beginning of my brow. So I'm going to go back into the spoolie. And I'm just going to take this product and bring it to the beginning of my brow. All the spoolie is doing is picking up that product and bringing it to the front of my brow. Right? That's all I'm doing. Bam. Okay, so I never care about how clean or sloppy it looks because you can see it needs to be cleaned up a little bit. The lines are not crisp. Bam. That's where your concealer brush and your concealer come in. <clears throat> if you have something close to it that you already brought, bought, please use those products. Don't be going out buying new products just because you've seen me use it, baby. I'm here to make your products work for you. Now, if it's just off and it don't look right, then, baby, we, we got to change something up. Because y'all know I'm not going to have y'all looking around, have y'all walking around looking like a fool. And don't be salty when I tell you it looks trash. Because I'm going to be honest with you, but I'm going to give you the tools and the keys to help yourself. So, I put the concealer on the back of my hand and then I dip my brush into it. Bam. So, all we're going to do is we're going, again, we're not starting at the beginning. We're starting in the middle and working our way out, okay? So, I'm just going to line as close to my brow as I can. Then I'm going to slowly, you see how I just didn't take one line and just slowly swipe across? Like I didn't, I didn't just go like this. Because if you do that, you can go into the brow and you can mess it up. Okay, so you want to take your time and slowly build that line as you go forward. And I forgot a tool. Oh my God, how I forget a tool. You need some type of buffing brush. Of some. The one I'll be using is the Beauty Shop Concealer Brush. Okay. 
thebeautyshop.org. You can get you one in June because they sold out because I tried to give me another one. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and buff that out. If you do not have this brush, of course, like I said, get something equivalent, okay? I got this brush. I got this brush. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. Let me bring it, bring it back, bring it back. Okay, so these are all Morphe brushes. These are very affordable brushes, okay? Okay, so bam. There's that. If you do not want a halo brow, because we're going to clean up the front of the brow too. If you do not want the halo brow, which is where it's highlighted here and here, you don't have to do that. That's my preference and what I do. Now, in order to fix that, what I would do is take my foundation, whatever foundation you have, just a little bit, just like I just did. Just put a little bit on my hand directly close to the brow. Oh, I went in my brow a little bit, so we gonna fix that. Now, I'm skilled, so I can do like this and bring it down. It took me a really, really long time to be able to do that in a motion. But you see, I still cleaned up back here before I went back in and did that swift motion. If you're not comfortable and you trying to do it anyway to cut some time, baby, you're going to mess up. I promise you that, okay? Um, it still takes me about 30 minutes to do my brows. And I've been doing makeup for a good three years now. Um, excuse me, that's gross. So, if you can do it, baby, do it. I'm not stopping you, but if you can't, if you don't feel comfortable, don't do it. Same blending brush. And blend that out like you did the concealer. Since it's my foundation, it should blend right in. But it's a little lighter. And I can still see that black. Plus, this foundation ain't really a clean up the brows type of foundation, so I would rather use a concealer. But I like the halo brow look. So, like I said, it's different for everybody. It's your preference. If you don't like that, if you darker than I am, you don't want that halo brow look. And make sure that your shades are one to two shades darker than your actual skin tone. So, bam. That's how we clean the brow using a powder product like i said eyeshadow browns dark light medium they can be used for the brows i just happen to use a dark brown powder all i did was fill in my brows that's how we do that so let's move on to the next product bam okay we're on to the next side so i'm gonna switch my mirror to this side so that i can see what i am doing and i know that you guys can see me so we are going to be using the beauty shop cosmetics in the color ebony i think i got a color a little too dark for me but i'm using it anyway see my fave all right so we're going to be using the double spoolie but we're only using this side. I only like this side because it's the hard side. So I just dip it a little bit in my product. Not a lot. Because I don't I don't like a lot. Same thing. Hold on. Camera about to die. Let me come back. So again, same technique. Brushing the hair in the directions that the hair grows. So, with this one, it's a little bit different. You want to definitely still not start here. We're still not starting here. We're going here. And as you can see, your girl barely got any, like, there is hairs right here. But on camera, you can't see them. Let's see if I can brush them down. See, you can see them a little bit. But on camera, they are 
barely there. So we're going to take this product in the brow. We're, we're definitely, we're not under where our brow stop. Okay, you see how I have no hair down here? We're not here. We're into the brow or right on the line of that brow, okay? So if I was to do this, you'll see that I'm still in my brow. I didn't go under because I don't want them thicker. This one, I'm going to go under just a little bit because you can barely tell I have any hairs. And we'll just clean it up later. I got my brush clean. Let's try this again. Okay. So... We're definitely going to clean it up because this brow I don't know what's up with this one this one be the one I have trouble with so same thing but see how this is a lot darker I'm not going to add let me why y'all not in focus there we go okay so, I'm not going to add any more product because, like I said, this is very dark and I think I grabbed the darker color. So, I'm just going to take the spoolie and same thing I did earlier. I'm just going to disperse that product to the front of my brow and blend it out here because we did not do that. So, I'm just blending out... The pomade the pomade ain't as smooth as I would like but I left it open with my dumb self who does that I don't want it to look cakey you know well you don't know that's why you're here so but we don't want it to look cakey you see how it just looks Concealer foundation, your choice, your choice, boo boo. Same thing though, not starting in the front, starting in the middle. And work our way to the end. Now, Another thing, if you go into your pencil with concealer, you will not be able to go back into your brow with the pencil because the pencil is a waxy substance that the concealer is just going to mix with it or, or just blend the brow together and it's not going to look right. So you're going to have to use a pomade or a powder to fix any imperfections that will stick to the concealer. So I'm going to do this a little more because this brow is not as clean as I want it. <sighs> But like I said, this is, I left my stuff open like a dummy. So. There goes that. Okay. This is the powder brush. You can use a buffing brush if you have one if you do not have this brush so I'm going to go in uh, the top with my concealer and not my foundation like I did earlier this is my preference this will be the halo brow that I was telling you about okay so in the front I mean in the middle not the front do not start at the front spread that and follow bam okay powder brush buffing brush buff that right on out so these are the difference 
I cleaned this one up with regular concealer and foundation and I used powder here. I cleaned this one up with just concealer and we used a pomade, okay? So that is powder versus pomade. So because I like the powder brow better, we're going to swipe this little beauty away. Because we got one more brow to do and I won't hold you guys any longer. Brow off. Speed it up now. Brow off. Speed it up now. Brow off. Bam. That brow is off. Okay. We're going to do the exact same thing we just did. Y'all. Brush your brows. Direction that they grow. Pencil up. Yeah, pencil up. Bam. Pencil up. This is black. This is definitely by far way too dark, but I got it from the Dollar Tree for a challenge. And this ain't what's up. Like I said, I don't have another brow pencil. This is the one we're using. Okay, same thing. We're not starting here. We're starting here. I like to start at my arch. Same thing, we're starting in the brow, not below the brow. I need this hard spoolie. I feel like Ulta Beauty spoolie is just so rough. And I like that because it's literally blending. And I really feel like these products don't adhere to my skin that well. Because you see how that looks really patchy. This, I definitely do not like this. Like, how that looks, that is trash. You do not want your brow to look like that, and I would not walk out the house looking like that. So, this is just for demonstration purposes only. I like to use pomade and powder. I have yet to use a gel, and I do not have an actual... I have a brow gel, but brow gel for me is just like what you use if you want them to stay in place the technique is still the same it still look patchy definitely on screen that looks trifling but like i said it's not the quality of the brow that we are talking about it is the technique because if you've seen this one your girl slayed period same thing y'all know what's up concealer concealer brush we just did this three times together with two different products you should know you should know by now if you don't know me by now same thing not starting here starting here it's a lot easier to start here and bring it forward than to just mess up that whole shape so i like to do my arch first because it's easier for me to build from my arch than it is to build from the front of the brow And I personally end up taking, closing off my eye with my brow, especially with this one. So, I do the arch first. And then, I'm just working my way to the front. And you see, I don't even have a thick line. Burly. That way, I can control my product and the brow. Okay, powder brush, blending brush, buffing brush, whatever you have that you can make work like this or just to blend out or buff out that concealer, that's all you need. You do not need to go out and get a big brush like this to blend the concealer, okay? And I'm going to show you exactly what I mean by not just going to go buy some brushes because you see me using it, Okay. Um, like I said, Morphe, this is a Morphe brush right here. This is the M333. And then I also use this LAB, it came from Walmart. You can see, I use this mug. So we're going to use this one for the top of my brow. Okay. Same brush.
Bam. Oh, that looks trash. How am I going to be coming on here showing y'all brows? And I can't even get my brow together. Okay. So, more, I mean, Walmart brush. Affordable. Okay, so what did I use? I used a pencil. So remember when I said you can't go back in with a pencil to clean up what you messed up? So we're going to do it anyway so that I can show you. It actually didn't do that bad, but it's gray. You can't really tell on here. But it's definitely gray. You see that all up in here? You can barely see it, but it's definitely gray up in there. But that is how you would do it with a pencil. Points to taking away from this video, okay? Make sure you add this to your notes. You want to make sure when you are doing your brow, whether you are, yes, cleaning it up with concealer... Or if you are just filling in your brow, whether you use the pomade, the gel, the brow pencil, or the brow powder, where you start is very important. Do not start here because you could definitely mess up your shape. I like to start here in my arch, okay? One way that you can tell where your arch is. I should have said this in the video, beginning of the video. Wow. Okay, so one way to tell where your arch needs to be is taking your pencil. There's the beginning of your brow. Okay. Here is where your arch needs to be. This is where your arch needs to be, okay? Then if we take the pencil and we do like this, okay, bam. That is where your brow is supposed to stop. Bam, bam, bam. So I never start here, whether I'm filling in or cleaning up with concealer. I always start in my arch so that my arch can give me the guide as to where this needs to be. Okay? And where this needs to be. Now on this, this eye, I always tend to take my brow like this and that closes off my eye. So that's another thing you want to watch out for and make sure that you're brushing the hairs up. You did not clean your brows. You will need to do that because you can kind of tell I got some extra hairs all down here. And it will make the brows look tacky a little bit and less groomed you want to make sure that you have a spoolie and one of these if you use pomade okay you want to make sure that you are using a buffer brush to buff out that concealer you also want to have some type of flat brush or concealer brush to clean up those brows the products that I use today are the cover girl um brow and liner powder i also used the beauty shop cosmetics brow pomade in the color ebony i use the elf concealer pencil in black do not get this i hated it trash it goes because i don't like that i also use the la pro concealer in the color fawn i also have the color almond that i like to use so here are the difference in the two colors but these are what i like to use because i'm kind of light kind of dark i'm not light skin but i'm not dark skin and i also 
used so that's the end of this video i really 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 hope that this brow tutorial you know gave you some insight on how to do your brows how to make it easier for you and just break it down a little bit more for you than my lives because i don't have time to break down each product for you on live so i thought bringing this video to you guys because a lot of you when you come into the lives you have either missed the very beginning and missed the brows or you have missed a whole video and came back in and still missed the brows and didn't get to ask questions. A lot of you are still stuck on your brows and I get it sis. That's the most important part. So like I said, if you have not seen the first part of the Beauty Hacks 101 series, Cleaning Your Brows, please go make sure that you check that out before watching this one. And invite all your girlfriends who don't know how to do makeup to watch these two videos because... We're about to take off and if you get left behind, sis, you're going to have to play catch up with the rest of them because we're here. Okay? So, again, make sure that you... Let me let me back up. How am I talking to y'all? Y'all all in my face. So, if you have not uh, liked yet, you should have liked in the beginning of the video as soon as you saw the notification pop up because you should have been subscribed. And if you were subscribed and got that notification, that means you hit that bell so that you can get notified every time we post a video over here because y'all know it's lit. So, did you like, comment, and subscribe? Did you hit that notification button? I'm waiting. We don't have to end the video. Hold on. We can, you know, go ahead. I'll give you time. I'll give you time. second thought we out of here all right gems so i will see you guys in the next one bye Ooh.